Hello and welcome to Electrophy channel. In this video we want to talk about eddy or focal current. Eddy current is a kind of current in conductors which is produced by a changing magnetic field. Actually it's based on Faraday's law of induction and also Lenz's law. Faraday's law talks about induction of current and voltage in a conductor when there is a changing magnetic field. If you want to know more about these laws, we refer you to our another video we talked in detail. This picture shows a eddy current disc break. The disc is made of metal. And this is a magnet or a source of magnetic field. While the disc rotates, the magnetic field starts changing in the disc. And due to Faraday's law, voltage is induced in the disk, and eddy current flows. On the left side of the magnetic source, you see that eddy current is counterclockwise. However, on the right side, it's clockwise. Lenz law can explain the reason. Assume that the source magnetic field is constant. The disk is rotating counterclockwise. So here the magnetic flux is increasing, so based on Lenz law, the induced current should be on the direction that it opposes increase of magnetic flux. Therefore, induced magnetic field has down to up direction, which repels the magnetic field of the source. This repulsion decreases the speed of the disk. The same thing happens for the right side. But here magnetic flux is decreasing, so the eddy current direction is clockwise, which makes the direction of the induced magnetic field up to down. This magnetic field attracts the source magnetic field, and this also will decrease the speed of the disk. The mechanism of all eddy current breaks is like this. One of the major application of eddy current is in electrical brakes. Eddy current brake is used widely in trains. Here you can see these coils that are used to generate magnetic field to induce eddy current in rails. Also for roller coasters eddy current braking is used. Now we want to do the eddy current break experiment. Our setup consists of an aluminum disc, two holders, and a horseshoe magnet. This figure also shows the magnetic field streamlines. We have two discs, one clean and simple, and another with grooves. The current has to take a longer path to be closed in the grooved disc, rather than the clean disc. The resistance has direct relation with the length of the path of the current loop. The magnetic source is the same so the induced voltage for the two discs is the same. So due to the Ohm's law, the induced current magnitude of the grooved disc is smaller than the clean disc, so it rotates for much longer time. Now let's watch the experiment. First we place the clean disc. Now we place the grooved one. You saw that the groove disc rotates much longer because its eddy current is smaller. 
Now let's watch them again side by side. In the second experiment, we use a DC voltage source, windings, and a metal structure to make a constant magnetic field. This structure is a magnetic circuit and is made of iron. Windings on each side are in series, which constant current goes through them. Right side windings magnetic field is downward, and left side windings magnetic field is upward. There is a gap in the middle, and in the gap there is a magnetic field. We want to rotate two slices of disc in the middle. One of slices has grooves and the other is clean. The current has to take a longer path to close its path in the groove disc. Therefore, like the previous experiment, we expect the grooved one to stop later. First, we use the clean disc. Now, we use the groove disc. As we expected, the clean disc stops faster. Watch them side by side and compare the stop time. Special thanks to Professor Mohseni, Head of Electrical Machines and Electromagnetics Elementary Lab of Tehran University. Thanks for watching, hope you learned good things. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel.